Many things can change the course of someone's life. A new job, an eviction notice, being diagnosed with a terminal disease. Life is never as simple as humans believe. We coast along, adapting to new environments, clinging to hope. But we all have our faults that trigger those changes. Our flaws are, ultimately, our downfall. And they are what weigh heavily on Dominic Baker's mind as he sits in his office. He listens to his wife Jolene move about in the kitchen, causing dishes to clink and pots to clatter. Prior to him entering his office, the kitchen had been vacant, which meant Jolene must have gone for a jog. He should have gone with her, but with the campaign for his second term as governor going and elections fast approaching, he was drowning in stress. They're due in uptown Raleigh so he can speak to a collective in the park. According to Jim Pilton, his campaign manager, over 600 people will be attending today. Everyone is anticipating his presence. The well-known, 40-year-old candidate with the brown skin and perfect smile. Everyone has high hopes for Dominic Baker, the man uplifting North Carolina. That's his slogan anyway, uplift North Carolina. Now, he wishes the campaign wasn't happening at all. He wishes that four years ago, he hadn't been selfish and taken the role as governor. He'd have more privacy and much less to lose. Dominic has always wanted to be in politics, though. It was his dream since high school, and he wasn't going to let a minor mishap mess that up. He'd gone to college, run for school boards, the Raleigh City Council, and was even lieutenant governor of the state prior to becoming official governor. He'd worked hard to build his status, networked with professionals, and the hard work had paid off. But, as with any successful career, there are mistakes that shape us and secrets we long to bury. And Dominic realizes this as he studies the letter on top of his desk, written in permanent marker that bleeds through the thin sheet of notebook paper are the words, I know what you did. Where's Bryn?